हेलो एवरी वन सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग यूनिट नंबर वन ऑफ मैकेटोनिक सिस्टम्स एंड टुडे वी विल सी लेसन थ्री इंट्रोडक्शन टू स्कैडा ओके सो वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द स्कैडा वेर इट इज यूज वट इज द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ स्कैडा वॉट आर द डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ स्कैडा दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी ड्यूरिंग दिस पर्टिक्युलर लेक्चर so let us start with uh, this particular lecture so let's just uh, see what exactly is the scada so scada is nothing but the long form you can see over here supervisory control and data acquisition okay so supervisory control s c d a uh, so scada uh, long form is coming from this particular word so supervisory control and data acquisition so uh, from the name we can say that it is supervisory control so what exactly is the control and data acquisition so it is collecting data it is analyzing it and it is trying to control some devices so in automation we are using scada systems okay is an industrial computer based control system so it is a computer based control system used to acquire real time data to keep track monitor control industrial equipment at the supervisory level okay so it is combination of software hardware and protocols so the scada systems are combination of softwares hardwares and protocols okay it is used in different types of industries and it is used in various domains so you can see this particular example that this is the suppose a uh, plant is there and uh, in this particular plant suppose uh, you wanted to monitor something from the remote uh, location so suppose you have plants at multiple locations or your plant is so such a big size that you may not be able to visit each and every uh, corner of this particular uh, plant and you wanted to control all these things from the remote center then scada is uh, very useful okay so uh, i will give you one example uh, where uh, if the plants or you can say if the manufacturing plants or you can say the uh, servicing uh, area is more than a particular uh, thing then before implementing scada it was done manually so there are some push buttons which are activating relay based kind of systems and uh, you uh, must be knowing like uh, suppose i am uh, coming to know that okay there is some problem into suppose uh, shop number 2 okay so if i have 10 shops and uh, in shop number 2 there is some problem so in that case what i will be doing uh, i will have to uh, send some person to the shop number 2 that person will go there will analyze what is the problem exactly then whatever resources which are required to solve that problem will be coming back to me and based on that uh, by taking those resources again uh, he or she will be going to that particular location uh, it will be resolved and it will be operating some push buttons on relays uh, based on the uh, the kind of problem which is uh, generated over there so scada systems are replacing such kind of system so how many people you will be keeping for uh, such kind of debugging how many keep, uh, people will be going at a longer distance uh, will be analyzing it and will be trying to solve uh, those kind of problems so everything will be connected to a central room there will be some people who will be there in the central room and from the central control room they will be operating everything some of the things will be operated automatically by using computer programs but some of the things will be operated by using human beings from the control room itself so that it will be uh, communicated to uh, these kind of systems so this is uh, you can say uh, kind of uh, overview of what exactly uh, is the scada is okay so what is the purpose of scada uh, the scada's purpose is it is ability to collect data and control processes from the distances uh, it has ability to create logs on the systems current and past states ability to uh, send necessary information to operators in real time using sms and internet uh, it reduces manpower needs so uh, in last example whatever we have discussed 
uh, I will be requiring lots of manpower for uh, going to multiple shops uh, and solving multiple problems uh, uh, all together. It is saving energy, time and money. So, uh, the re problem resolutions are quicker, lesser uh, money is required, lesser energy is also required in uh, doing all those things. Uh, less traveling for workers as we discussed a worker is not required to go to that particular shop number two uh, it can operate directly from the control room uh, by sitting over there uh, so that is less traveling for the workers uh, it is more reliable uh, you can see uh, what are the things which are working which are the things which are not working from the control room itself so that is why you have more confidence on your system that your system is working properly uh, it has supervisory control over a particular system. So, uh, whatever system is there, uh, you get a supervision uh, on all these systems together. So, uh, it could be 10 number of shops or it could be uh, number of factories, everything, uh, all the data will be coming to the one central room and one central control room will be uh, having supervision on all these kind of uh, systems. So, this is called as SCADA system. So, what are the different functions of SCADA systems? Uh, one of the important function is data acquisition and display. So, you have to collect data from various locations from the plant uh, and you have to display it uh, to the, uh, you can say control room. So, so that status monitoring will be done. So, monitoring is one of the important key feature of this SCADA. The second aspect is alarm and events. So, there is some event which is happening which is not favorable kind of event that means uh, some some issue is there uh, you can say uh, some uh, you can say machine is not working some valve is not working pressure has dropped so whatever uh, uh, you can say abnormalities are happening into the plant uh, it will be uh, if there are critical then alarms will be generated so, uh, the SMS alert will be sent to the concerned person, uh, it will be alarm automatically, it will be uh, you can say ringing in the factory and all those things so that safety will be ensured, uh, you can say if there is something wrong which is happening then it will be highlighted very quickly. So, this is another uh, you can say function of the SCADA systems. Uh, the third function could be history database. So, what are the different events which are happened in the past? will be recorded as a history uh, database. Uh, keep a record of all these uh, uh, process values is also uh, you can say overall functions uh, of this particular SCADA. Uh, logging and reporting. Uh, so, whatever data we have, we can log that particular data and we can report it uh, to the uh, higher authorities. So, all the logs are available, we can go to the okay what was happening in the last two days back, what was happening uh, one day back, what is happening and all those things are available into overall functions uh, uh, of uh, you can say SCADA. Uh, human machine interface is another uh, you can say benefit that means uh, uh, in control room you have one interface where uh, you you can say human can interact with that particular machine uh, humans can give information humans can give instructions to that particular machine and based on those instructions uh, these instructions will be passed on to the the problem which is happening over there and this is also one of the important and key feature over here uh, operator con command handling so, operator command handling, uh, it is you can say binary commands or you can say set points, uh, recipes or batches, scripts. So, uh, suppose you wanted to control some uh, process, then you can control that process from the uh, you can say control room. So, this is uh, you can say uh, we have discussed about uh, what is the overview and uh, uh, you can say uh, one of the key features of the SCADA or what are the different functions of SCADA. So, this is a, a kind of introduction. So, quickly uh, we will uh, throw one of the small easy question uh, to the all the uh, students. Uh, can you answer what is the long form of SCADA? I will wait for a minute. Yes, 
SCADA is supervisory control and data acquisition. Okay, I hope uh, you have understood what exactly is the SCADA and what are the overall functions of the SCADA. We will continue this particular discussion in upcoming lectures. Thank you.